Hello everyone and welcome back to Suikoden 2. In the last episode we finally made it to Muse. We met up with Flick and Victor in the jail. We got to wander around a little, see some cool cutscenes, and we met the mayor, Annabelle. She seems like an interesting person. She knew a lot more about us than we did about her. And now we're kind of stuck here just wandering around. So let's cause trouble in here. But this is the only size we've got. What are you talking about? These are for Youth Brigade uniforms. What can we do with these? What is it? What's this guy up to? I'm not sure about him. Ryu, Joey, I have a request. Will you listen? What is it? Luca Blight's army is camped out near the border between Muse and Highland. They'll attack us here in Muse next. I'd like to know how much provisions they have with them. We've got some Youth Brigade uniforms to help you sneak in. Ryu, Joey, you were in the Youth Brigade, right? We don't have any other uniforms, so would you do it for us? Is this the best idea? So, you want us to sneak into the Highland Army camp and find out how much provisions they have. Is that right? Isn't it how many provisions? Much just seems weird. What? C couldn't this be dangerous? Well, um, a little, but it would be a big help for Muse. We could find out how much provisions they have. Oh my god, that's really bugging me. <laughs> that will tell us whether they're planning a long siege or a quick all-out attack. Hmm. What about it, Ryo? Well, we don't really have a choice. What? The, that's dangerous! Really? Thank you. You're the pride of Muse. Uh, hey, Anatomy's mad. Here are the uniforms. I, I guess you know how to put them on. Should it get to the Highland border, follow the road to the northeast. I'll alert the guards at our checkpoint. Good luck. Wonderful. I'm so excited. Well, I've got no choice. I'd be worried about you, Rio and Joey, so I'll just have to go with you. How are you going to do that? There's no girls in there. Okay, let's stop by Luna's Tavern and get some others to join us. Good idea. Ryu, maybe we can finally be of some help too? What are you talking about? If it gets dangerous, you have to run back here, Joey! Alright. Check this bookcase for a book! That's important, because you can miss it. I believe that is Old Book Volume 4. Correct me if I'm wrong, we can get it appraised later. Alright, before we start all this spying shenanigans, there's some things we can do right here and now. But you have to talk to Jess first to get it done. Look here. This person looks familiar. Hey, it's Ryu, isn't it? It's been a long time. Are you okay? I heard the fort burn down. Huh. It was horrible! We're fine. Thank goodness. It looks like Captain Gengen was okay too. How wonderful! I'm glad you were worried about him. <laughs> Just kidding. Gengen's alright. Ryu, I heard all about it. It must have been terrible. Tuta, listen to me. There's going to be another big war. I'm sorry to get you involved, but we'll need a doctor. Uh, uh, um, isn't this kid like seven years old? What? Are you- what? Is that okay? Yes, Dr. Juan. It's also a boy. Tuta. Go to Victor's place and help out. Huh, but I'm not yet... Um, are we really gonna trust a kid to do this? It's alright. You just need a little more experience. Good luck. Yes, Dr. Juan. Ryu, please take care of Tuta. Um, I will. But, it, um, okay. Is this really okay? I don't know if I want this kid performing, like, surgery on me or anything. Okay, I'll be in Leona's place. Now you do that. I can see how you guys would think Tuta is a girl, because it looks just like one. But Joey? <laughs> I'm still on that, apparently. Come back in and talk to him, because there's a missable item here. I will take good care of Tuta. You get recipe three. This is missable. If you don't get it now, it's gone forever. What a world. Okay. We can recruit another person. Oh, and by the way, you can recruit Tuta later, if you don't feel like doing that now. But you'll miss out on the recipe. And it's a lot later, so just do it now. No big. Oh, good, you're back. 
But if you're looking for Victor or Flick, they're out rounding up soldiers. I'm sure you missed me, baby. Well, actually... Joey's gonna tell her the plan. As usual. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a very good idea, does it? Nope. Even if it's just a little, I'd still like to do my part to help out. Oh, I think Joey's feeling bad. I think he feels like he hasn't done enough. Well, go try your best. But remember, there is such a thing as trying too hard. I want you to take some friends with you to the Highland Camp. Thanks a lot. We will. You have a choice now. Um, I don't want to... Even though we had that party last time and they're leveled properly, you don't always want to play it like that, do you? I mean, you can. You can take the, the same party all the way to the end, pretty much. But since you get so many new people, it's hard to, to do that. You get new people and you want to try them out. We're going to take Zamsa with us. I have a plan. I usually don't use him, but I feel like we should... We're going to try something a little different this time. People wanted to see Shiro as well, so I'm going to take Shiro, and we'll take Riggy back. This means we have three short people in our party, so we're going to fix that. We don't have any long range, so we'll just have to deal. But I think for what we're going to do for now, this will be fine. I'm not going to keep this party forever. That's certainly not what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, good luck and come back safe. I'll tell Victor and Flick when I see them. All right. We've changed our party. We can get them outfitted and fixed up, but first, come back in here! After those turn of events, you'll see a woman sitting here. Talk to her. I could work for the Torian government too, but that woman... What? You look like someone to me. I'm supposed to be on a journey of training, but I can't find anyone to face me. At this rate, I'll never beat her out. Who are you talking about? Ma'am? Nothing, huh? What do you want? Are you interested in me or something? I certainly am! <laughs> Ma'am! What is it? A female swordsman isn't so rare, is it? Not really. But I've never seen one so beautiful! You have to say this! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're a strange boy, but thanks, I'm happy. I think she's drunk. Something's about to explode- Whoa, are you hitting on me? Ma'am? I guess that line worked. If I stick around here, I bet I'll have a chance to use my sword after all. <laughs> I'd like to use my sword. Come on, baby, you're like what? What? 23? 24? Ah, I'm 18. It's legal. I am so interested in you, you have no idea. Anyway, after you... What, what happens here is she'll ask you three random things. She only asks three things. But the order that she asks them is random. So what you need to do is once you talk to her once... Like that, where you either answer a question for her, get her some wine, or give her an antitoxin. Those are the three things she asked for. But after each one, you have to leave the city and come back. <laughs> it's super annoying. But just do it, because if you don't recruit her now, you won't get a chance to do it till way later. Hey you, if you've got some antitoxin, can you give me one? Would you get drunk? Okay, we have one. I was bitten by a spider. I'd be okay if I could get to an item store, but I feel so hot. Anne Haish. That's who you look like. You look like Anne Haish. Do you guys even know who Anne Haish is? Well, look it up. It, she looks like Anne Haish. I feel old. <laughs> At times like this, you realize how hard it is to travel all by yourself. Well, shit. Yes, something's about to explode. It's in my pants, madam. I'm gonna leave so that you don't see it, because that would be highly embarrassing. You know, I'm only 18. Th these things happen. It it's not uncommon. It it's, you know, just a little a little mishap uh, in my trousers. Yeah, I, I would I would thank you not to make fun of it, either. I'm, I'm just... <laughs> oh my god, you guys. You gotta do something to make these monotonous parts boring. Sometimes recruiting some of these people is such a pain in the ass. Yes, that woman, whoever you're talking about. I know you're on a journey. What? You're gonna ask me this part again? It's weird. <laughs> That's really strange. So I guess sometimes she can ask the same thing twice? I've never seen that happen before, but I guess it happens because it just did. You're busy, aren't you? What is it? You want something? Yeah, join us, will you? Come on, join our group. I guess you're right. I'm not gonna improve my swordsmanship sitting around in the tavern. <laughs> you could 
You could practice some other kind of swordsmanship. I'm just saying. I, I like Anita. She's something about her is sassy. I wouldn't do it for anyone but you. But okay, I'll join. Not that I find Anne Heche is particularly attractive, but she looks like Anne Heche. I'm just saying. Look it up. If you need me, call me anytime. Until then, I'll be enjoying myself here. Uh, yeah. No shit. That's what Anita does. If you don't use her in your party, she's in taverns all day, every day. <laughs> That's what she does. Alright, one more thing we should do before we head out is go to the Rune Master and get everyone set up with runes. I've got some ideas. Now, if you'll remember, in the last episode, we put a fire rune on Nanami, but that's not really the best rune for her. We only did that out of interest of the dungeon. Take that off of her. And if you got all the items in the last dungeon, you will have a water rune and a spark rune. So we're going to put both of those on Nana. She's pretty good with water, and I like to have her as a backup healer because it's very likely that you'll have her in your party most of the time. And the spark rune which we got is an interesting rune that really only works on fast attackers. Nanami is one of the fastest attackers you'll have for a long time. So what happens is you'll notice sometimes that she'll go first and then sometimes enemies will kind of interrupt and go because they're faster than some of your other parties. Like they're certainly faster than Riki Maru and things like that. The spark rune will make sure that everybody gets to go after Nana and the, uh, the bad guys have to wait. So I like it for now. This will be a good combination for her. And the fire rune, we can put that on Zamza. He's uh, high ranked in fire. And it'll be an actual rune that he can use that won't hurt him. But we'll still have the, the fire one if we need it, the other one. We have a double beat. Ricky already has one, but put one on Shiro for goodness sake. This will make him OP. Trust me, because animals have such high attack, you want him to have a double attack. Very important. Okay, we look good. Everyone else is pretty much outfitted perfectly. Um, Shiro's the only new person we took, and he can't wear armor, so you're good there. Sell anything you have. You can get those Fury runes in the rare finds uh, in the rune shop if you want. I'm not going to get one now. I'll come back and get it later. It's permanent berserk status, which is good for certain people, but at this point, it's really expensive, so it's up to you. All right, so now let's see. We've done everything we can in Muse, pretty much. If you took someone new with you that uses a weapon, go get it sharpened in Coronet. Don't forget to do that. Shiro can't get his teeth sharpened or anything, so he's fine. One thing we do before we go to the board- Oh, noes! I don't want to talk to you! You don't usually see these guys. The gold ones. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna bribe him. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I really did that because someone asked what the bribe thing did, even though I explained it. So there you go. I bribed pigs. Why- why pigs need my money, I have no freaking idea, but apparently they do. Uh, you can pay your way uh, out of everything, apparently. Alright, go through Toto. I don't like walking through here. I really don't like seeing that lonesome dog amongst the burnt ruins. It's something about it just bugs me. You guys feel that way too? It just, ugh, I don't like it. Why are we going back here? You have to go back to the mercenary fort. No one tells you this, it's just something you would figure out if you were kind of like, you know, wandering. You don't have to do this now, but trust me, you're going to want to. No, get out of here. You're going to want to do this now. We're going to recruit someone that isn't useful really as a person, but what he gives you right now is incredibly useful, and I want it. What is with all these attackers? They're like level two. What? Whatever. It's Shiro's fault. It's because everyone wants to run up and pet him. What's going on here? Highland soldiers are here. What's wrong? I just want to take a little look inside. What are you talking about? Buzz off before you get hurt. I told you. I'm just trying to fix my map. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> he kicked him in the knee. What the heck, man? Hey, you! Leave me alone. The heck? I swear, people around here have really got an attitude. Oh, uh, hey, who are you guys? What's up, dude? You guys got kicked out of here? Oh, what a pain. So much stuff going on. I gotta keep changing my map. Your map? Who's that? Oh, I'm Templeton, a cartographer. I'm correcting my map of this area, but I'm really having a hard time. 
Uh, sorry, but I'm sort of in a rush. Maybe I'll see you again. All right. We will see him again. Suikoden in one fans will know who Templeton is. He was in that one. Also making maps. He had the same gripes in the first one. He had to keep changing his map because of events. He is important. Like I said, not, not as a person, but he's important for what he does for you. What is with this? Shiro, are these your friends? You need to tell them to step off. Is this like some kind of wolf gang thing? Like a gang related issue? Like the blue wolves against the white wolf? Whatever, I'll hang with you, dude. I got your back. I'm just saying. All right, go to Toto. We gotta go back, but we'll find him here as well. Right over here. This, this, this is horrible. I thought I'd seen everything, but, but this. So, so the Highland Army did this? Yeah, they pretty much did. You said before that you were thrown out of that fort. Are you fighting the Highland Army? Yeah, we are, pretty much. I mean, at this point, we kind of are. Really? In that case, I'll fight with you. I can't let them ruin everything I've gone to the trouble of mapping. That's your reason? Well, you're a real humanitarian. What about the people that died? Oh, well, whatever. Templeton joins. Uh, here, I've got something for you. With this, you won't get lost no matter where you go. Okay, I'm going to look around some. I'll meet you later. Bye. We got the Suko map! Yay! You can look at it in your menu, but it's extremely important when you go out on the map, and I will show you why. Templeton looks really young, despite being in Suikoden 2. He looked even younger then, but man. He's gotta be, like, at least... I don't know... 20? doesn't look 20 but check it out look at the map bottom right hand corner you can see we have a mini map now and it shows you the dots which are all of the things we haven't seen this guy before I fought loads of them off screen that's why it says let go it's a sickle it's really nothing of consequence I'm gonna let it go it was let off easily that's what she said <laughs> all right well we've pretty much done everything we need to do here I don't really want to start going into the Muse Highland thing, so unfortunately this is going to be a little bit of a short episode. I do apologize about that, but in the next one, we go up to the border. Sneak in. Will we be able to do it? What will happen? You'll see. See you later, guys. Peace.